Hi, this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, and this is my coffee. Um, your creative caricature marketing consultant. Sometimes, as a caricature artist, you're going to have a woman sit in front of you. Maybe it's even a little girl. And let's say that they're not, um, how should we put this? They don't conform to society's idea of what beauty is. Now, please don't ask me to elaborate on this. Uh, I think you get the vibe and you know what I'm talking about. And yet, you know, they're sitting in front of you, hopeful, in a good mood. They want to be entertained. They want to be drawn. But let's face it, nobody wants to draw ugly, but they don't fit the societal norm of what beautiful looks like, what the public consensus is. You know what I mean? Okay, how do we draw a pleasing caricature of them without trying to fix it, without lying to them about their appearance and, and while maintaining our artistic integrity? And what I mean by integrity is you draw it, it looks like the person, you didn't do any um, um, visual surgery on the paper. Believe it or not, there is a way to do this. And I had a subscriber ask me this question, and this is a very simple thing that you can do. And it's actually kind of a mental kind of trick. How many of you know that um, your mind is an amazing thing? What your mind thinks, what you focus on up here, for some reason your body will try to carry it out if that command is strong enough if that command is consistent enough. And um, I ran into a situation several times at a party where I had a person sit in front of me, usually a woman, where her looks were less than what society considers to be beautiful or attractive. And yet I was able to produce a caricature that she absolutely loved without sacrificing the likeness. And people say, how do you do that? It's easy. This is what I did. Exactly. As I'm drawing, I say to myself, what a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. Wow, what an attractive woman you are. Or sometimes, you know, I'll even sing. I'll, I mean, I'm talking about literally serenade. <laughs> I usually, it's usually a Sinatra song. I got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow got the string around my finger what a world what a life i'm in love you know the rest of the song i've got a song that i sing i can make the rain go every time i move my finger lucky me can't you see i'm in love and i serenade that person because the song i just sung is a love song you know, and what starts to happen is that I actually draw a beautiful girl, even though it's that girl with her particular face that doesn't fit the societal norm, and it's kind of a, like a mysterious thing, you know, when, what I think is happening is, as I'm drawing, I'm looking actively for the beauty in that face. And everybody has something beautiful that shines through. It might be the eyes, it might be a smile, it might be a particular expression they have, it might be their hair, you know, it might be, it's something intangible, like their personality. And if you've, uh, if you're a fan of this video, these video blogs, you know that I always say draw the personality of the person. But if you give yourself that mental command as you're drawing, that the person is attractive, that the person you know, is beautiful, and the person is lovely, and, I mean, even if you kind of hum a little tune or sing a little tune, your body, these hands that draw, they are going to follow that command, because uh, it's going to put you in a certain kind of mood, you know, and whatever mood you're in, I've found you're going to draw that way, you know, this is kind of off topic, but you're in a, if you're in an angry, divisive mood, then you're probably going to draw... <laughs> aggressive, kind of exaggerated, insulting kind of caricatures. If you're in a whimsical mood, you're probably going to draw 
whimsical type of cartoony caricatures. And if you're in a quote-unquote romantic mood, you're probably going to draw caricatures that are romantic. So do yourself a favor. This is this caricature business is as much a mental thing as it is a um, physical thing. Give yourself a mental command. Keep it there. Keep it constant, you know, and you'll be able to draw beautiful pictures. Now, why is this important? Bottom line is this. Uh, if you are a caricature artist at a party, um, it's not about you. It's about them. You are an entertainer. Everybody there as a party is there to have a good time. You know, you're not there to make anybody feel bad. You're not there to blow your own horn. I mean, imagine giving somebody an ugly picture, you know, and having them have to walk around in the party after that. It's cruel and it's insulting, you know. Please don't do that. If you have done that before, you know, come on. Please don't do that. That's the tip that I have for today. This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling. Your creative caricature marketing consultant. Make them look beautiful, but don't fix them.